What's going on, people? Kind of out of the light here, but whatever. Pause that. Um, I made a vid in quite a while, but uh, <coughs> got off work. It wasn't too long of a night, but I uh, figured I'd make a vid. I've not had a photo of LD for a long time. Now, this is just in the back of my truck. I just got a box back there in my single cab. So just sitting in there. Um, you know, not going to be the uh, coolest. It's actually just, that's a little chilled. It's not like room temperature or anything, but here we go. Just got back from driving, so a little foam, but looks good. Fleshing. Got a little... A and W. Got three onion rings left. Mama burger, just a little snack. I'm fucking hungry, so you gotta do it. Good ass onion rings. They don't actually, uh, <clears throat> they don't fit that many in the bag, but they're so damn good. Just like this. Yeah, so, about 40 here, chilling in the shadows. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, no thoughts new, see I'm still in the parkade. I'm in a different spot. No one else ever parks here, so I figured I'd just park here for my, uh, my vid. I'm kind of out of the way. Um, where I do park my vehicle, that's where cars are always going, I just... Rather not be disturbed, so got my bites of a mama burger left. It's damn good with the onion and the pickle. Good. So yeah, probably saw right there. It's my dash cam. It works all right. Cheap one off uh, Amazon, but uh, Somehow you stumbled across this video. This is a Canadian OE. The only, where I'm from at least, the only clear glass 40. The only, I don't know if you call this the V-neck 40. And the only kind of imported 40 that you can get here. <clears throat> I suppose that's all I ever talk about, but Colt 45 and Black Bull are 32 ounce dark bottles now um i have had them they don't taste the same as they did in, gla in clear glass i don't know if they changed the recipe 
Still says 8% for the Colt 45. Uh, um, uh, I do have some old Black Bulls. Uh, I've got lots of 40s up in my fridge. Just something about it. I think I paid like 680 for this 40. So, you know, it really isn't a ghetto drink. But considering you pay in the bars here, on a good day, you pay just under six bucks for a pint. So, 40 a malt liquor for that price. <sighs> Works for me, you know. It's, uh, just brings back memories when I sip on one of these. And that's really the main reason. Um, it does have a good taste. I enjoy it. You give someone else this and they'll take a drink and they're like, what the fuck? So, actually, uh, next kind of party that I go to. If, you know, I'm not driving, of course, I always, uh, the only driving I'll be doing now is from here, you know, 40 meters that way to park my truck, so I'll be okay. Um, I don't drink and drive anymore. Um, I never really did, but there was times when we probably had too much back when I was a little younger, hooligan, but, uh, no one got hurt, everyone's safe. It's just not worth it. I mean, my vehicle to get to work, <coughs> I do work with my vehicle, so losing my license would just be, would deem me pretty useless, um, it's just a big part of who I am, having a vehicle, I know a lot of people get around on the bus fine, I mean, I know if I had to, I probably could, but even where I work, you're not going to get a bus at 3, 4 a.m. if I get off my shift and got to go home, and I don't want to burden the guy guys I work with to give me rides all the time. I mean, I know I could, but what am I going to pay them? You know, this should be money, money wasted on them. But I definitely, if I had to, I'd give them gas. Like if my truck was out of commission, but see, um, I try not to make this one go too long. Whatever it is, I'll upload it regardless. Um, Sean's a gummy man. Shout out to DJ Madness. Shout out to Huffy. Fuck. Shout out to. I don't know. You know your name. I don't remember what your name is, the burp dude. But uh, this will go up tomorrow. I'll probably watch quite a few uh, vids like this. <clears throat> Dragon vids. Um, it's been a real long time. But uh, it's actually funny. On the top right of my screen right now, it. It has something like, I don't know if it means minutes for upload or the frame rate or something. I got to look up what that means, but I put in a 64 gigabyte card into this uh, Galaxy Note 3. So I have tons of space. I've never had a phone with 64 gig space. <clears throat> the phone already has 32. So I know you don't get totally that. You probably get like 28 for the 32 and then you get like 58 for the 64, but Still, I got a lot of memory in this phone now. Um, I do recommend an Android if you like to have lots of space. Who know? I could even buy another card and then just have that backup. You know, say you take lots of videos or whatever, or you like to have movies. I mean, it is kind of a bitch taking out the your case and taking off the back of the phone. But you know, if you did, this would be good for it, right? It's just randomly ramble about shit, but uh. You know, if you're drinking a 40, drinking a beer, just drink on with me. When I take a drink, you take a drink, whatever. Um, I do have a Samsung Tab 3 as well. I got it refurbished off eBay, 100 bucks. I mean, I know I've seen that Tab brand new in stores for 150 to 200 bucks. So you know, I felt like I got a deal and I just kind of play games on it and surf the web once in a while. Um, even though that only has a dual core, this phone that I have now, that Note 3 has a quad core. I still run it on power saving mode most of the time, so it's only running on one core, supposedly, that's what it says, but it, it runs great. I mean, even when I'm on the LTE network, it, it loads pretty fast. Um, playing certain games, like if I do Google Maps, you know the, the app with the world, the globe on it, and you press that, if I turn off power saving, it's just like lightning quick. You can just scroll to anywhere, you could drag and drop, you know, you go from Rio de Janeiro to... Texas to Germany, whatever. It's pretty cool. Like it's probably faster than my laptop and it's, you know, something that can fit in my pocket. 
All right, cheers. Want to clink it? Ding. Take a big swig. Goes out to uh, all the all the motherfuckers making forty ounce vids, beer vids, just chill vids. Um, I have I have three YouTube channels. I don't. I'm not a partner in any of them. I probably could be. I probably could put more effort into editing, but I just enjoy uploading vids. They're there for future reference. I hope YouTube like never crashes one day and lose all my shit, but I don't know. You know, at least it's there for now. And hey, I watched some of my old videos, even with my old car, my old Lincoln Town car, and I know I did some 40 vids in there. Um, I remember drinking 40s in that car by the by one park. I wish I filmed that just because it was. You know, just me chilling too, but that car was just so fucking gangster. So it's to say a big swig. This is for all the motherfuckers that make 40 vids, any kind of vids, vlogs, beer, hey, even smoking weed, which I used to make those. But uh, this 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 drink is for the town car because I miss you, baby. And I will have another town car one day. It's going to be on fucking airbags or hydraulics. It's going to be on sick-ass rims. People are going to see this thing go by and go, what the fuck was that? It's tight as shit. Here we go. You know, I know it's been 12 minutes, but I'm getting her down. I was At first when I made this vid, I'm like, shit, I'm going to pour a lot out for the homies. And I haven't... I haven't physically lost any actual friends. Actually, scratch that. There's some guy that I work with, and he had a, a, a rare condition. I don't remember exactly what it was, but he uh, he passed away. And actually, there's a, <coughs> a girl that I have on Facebook, and I'm actually going to message her later and just say, you know, I can't remember why, but just thinking about that guy, it was, it was weird because his name is Andrew. I'm pretty sure it's Andrew. And he was a good guy, you know. You know, he's thin in shape. Like, I'm a big guy. So I was I was based people on that. You know, like he's thin in shape, he's a funny guy. Um, worked at the gas station with us and uh I based a lot of my friendships on that. I knew lots of people worked there. It was fast turnover. People worked there for a month. Some people I worked with there you know, from when I started to when I when I quit. But uh this guy Andrew, Andrew Schlotz Schlot. Schultz, I think his name was. Anyways, he, he had like a bald spot up here. I don't think he was much older than me. I was probably like early 20s at the time. I'm oh, 27 now, so early 20s, maybe even 18, whatever. But uh, he, uh, in his obituary, it just said he suddenly passed away. Like, I don't know. And then whoever I work with, this lady, I want to actually message her. She said that, uh, that he, um, he, he had this condition and it was just like, they didn't know what it was. Like, it's just, you know, it just took him in his sleep or something. So that's pretty sad, man. But, you know, I make these vids kind of as a, as a record because in a way, <clears throat> I've been told my my father-in-law has seen my phone and he was flipping through the pictures and he hit one of these videos. And he even told me like we went on a trip and and I I got pretty, you know, I I was drunk and then I was I didn't want to go home with them. I didn't go back to the hotel we were just sharing a room and and I left. I drank two 24s and uh I think a Natty Daddy and a Mickey's and I had some, you know, I was in Montana, I was got some American chips or whatever, and I I went off and drank and, and they were all texting me like where are you, whatever. And of course I had my phone off, so if I got Wi Fi I would get their Facebook messages like where are you come back? They're worried. But then the next day he told me, he said, uh you have the characteristics to be an alcoholic. You know, you can uh you drink alone he said he's Latin, but um, he said, you drink alone and, and it doesn't bother you. And I said, well, sometimes I like to have some drinks alone and, and totally like I'm drinking a 40 ounce right now. I should be sitting with someone enjoying this, but you know, it's totally up to you. You live your life the way you want. I totally wish I had someone that lived in this building that I drank a 40 with. Like, who knows? Maybe, maybe one time I'll be sitting down here sipping a 40 and someone says, Hey man, 
I'm going to go grab some beers in my room and I'll be down. Let's chill. And it can be a thing, you know, it's whatever. But right now I'm enjoying making this vid and, uh, there's probably someone, there's probably one person. If there's one person that, that, you know, drinks a 40 or cracks some cans of beer that watches this with me and just, you know, she just, I don't know, even just thinks about what I'm talking about. I know I'm fucking ranting now because I got the 40 ounce buzz. You know, that 8% Okahaba Balam volume, <laughs> liquid de malt. It looks backwards to me, but I guess it'll come out right in the vid. Old Angus 800, like, you know, my, f okay, finish what I'm talking about. Yeah, so rest in peace, Andrew. That's fucked up. You got to be thankful for for your life. Some people, some babies, they, they'll live a day and then they die. And it's just complications. Their heart didn't work. Their their brain was, was crushed. Their, you know, they weren't, the n nutrition wasn't there. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. Just be thankful for what you have. I'm thankful every day I wake up and I'm a big guy. I really need to get this under control. But tonight I just felt like I wanted to grab a burger and some onion rings and have... 40 ounce. So that's my personal choice. The next few days of this week, yeah, I got to hit the gym. I got to sweat it out. I got to, you know, buy some bags of salad and I got to eat that. That's what I got to do. And I'm seriously sticking to that. This can be a little motivation, but still, I enjoy beer. So you go buy what you enjoy. I enjoy some beer, you know. That's just what you got to do. But I'm going to say this at least for 40 ounces, I'm white. But I don't think it matters what color you are. You can like any movie. You can like any music. It's all freedom. You like what you want. My favorite movies, I actually bought a three, a, a Blu-ray three pack. I posted on my Instagram. My Instagram add me, B Master B. Uh, I should add in the description. I started adding all that shit. I should add little annotations up here and shit. I think it's Beatmaster B or Beatmaster 420, one of those. And uh, yeah, I got a three, three movies in one one DVD case. It's got Friday, dope movie, Menace to Society, one of my favorites, and Set It Off, which is Queen Latifah, Vivica Fox, uh, Jada Pinkett, which <clears throat> of course then she was Jada Pinkett. That was Jada Pinkett Smith. <clears throat> What's the other girl's name? I don't know. She was young in that movie. Anyways, they they're robbing banks, and it just says on the back three, you know, action packed thrillers on the L.A. streets. My favorite movie is Training Day. A lot of people bash that movie, <clears throat> saying that Training Day, oh, it's the acting, whatever. But seriously, that movie. I don't know if I ever go to L.A. I'm sorry, I won't be driving through those neighborhoods. How cool it would be. I don't know if it's bad. It, maybe it isn't that bad, but portrayed in that, I know that if, even I'm in a rental car with blacked out windows, it just seems like someone would just, I don't know. I don't know what it's like. If any of you live in LA, I know Odeed, you probably don't watch my vids, but <clears throat> he's somewhere in Cali. I don't know. Hey, have you ever just taken a, taken a drive and said, hey, we're just going to cruise Compton? I don't know. I don't know how that shit works. Whatever. So... When I drink a 40 ounce, I love movies with that shit in it. And now I don't even know if the new shit. I don't even know. Like, a man. I always thought, too. I like that unity. The fact that there's that, there's that cul-de-sac. Think of that cul-de-sac in San Andreas. The first GTA San Andreas when you're CJ. That cul-de-sac. Imagine just being able to walk out on your step at 6 p.m. at night and go, you know, hey, Marty, what's up, man? All right, let's walk down the stove, get a fowdy. That's just the way it seems to me. Like, they're just chilling on their stoop, drinking fowdies. Or maybe get the little gangsta talk on, but whatever. You know? And I mean, I used to drink fowdies all the time with my friends. And I haven't had a fowdy in a long time. But my one buddy, Paul, Paul Vendetti, he's going to be my best man at my wedding. Or he's going to be my groomsman and he's going to speak. I want my brother to be my best man, which is a confusing situation. But I'm saying it anyways because I got the buzz going on. But uh, that man would drink 40s with me. Now he d he don't drink as much. But he's smoking weed. When I smoked weed, he drank. This is totally switched up. I could text that motherfucker right now 
and go chill out with him. But I'm not because I know I've had, you know, quite a bit of this photo. Shit, we got quite a bit left. That's a good thing. Um, this is at 20 minutes. I'm going to stop this and restart it because I might have to put this in two vids. But, uh. It's good because I haven't done vid for a while. I need to do Mountain Ford vids. Every drink I drink, I need to do a vid with it. You know, I'm just taking a quick sip of vodka in the house. All right. This is at 12, 20 minutes and 30 seconds. This is up low. This is going to be Old English Rant for part one.